Hello y'all, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a little bit of all plus a clip of something else that I got thanks to Miss Ingrid from Ingrid's Inspirations. Clip will be in there somewhere at the end. I don't know how it'll work, but anyway, you will see it and something else the cameras have never seen before. Yeah, for real. Anyhow, I went to Pop Shelf. You saw the thumbnail, you saw the Pop Shelf. Now, Pop Shelf has like a little members doohickey where if you sign up, you get a free members box. This store had been out of them for months. I've been signed up for Pop Shelf forever, and they know me in that store because I go in there quite a bit. And I went in there and they finally had some of the boxes. The only ones they had left were Beauty and Dogs, you know, because you could get stuff, you know, stuff for your dogs there. I said, you know what? I'll just take the Beauty one. I don't care. It's all good. It's going to be free stuff. I have not opened it up. So I'm going to see what kind of goodies I get besides what I bought because I did buy stuff. There is yarn. Yeah. Okay, so opening the box. I like the box though. I might end up using this box to send a giveaway out. Mm-hmm. Okay, what did I get? Pearl under eye serum helps to reduce the look of lines and under eye bags. Yeah, I need about, about a bucket of that. Thanks. Gold Glow Foil Eye Masks. I guess they're all about the eye in this part of it. It shows you how to put them on and stuff. Very cool. Revitalizing Superfood Salad for Skin Facial Sheet Mask. And this one is the tomato one. I don't understand that. I've never thought of putting tomatoes on my face. But hey, somebody said it was a good idea. Oh, I love the squiggly packing stuff. Yeah, I'm a nerd for stuff like that. Oh, okay. And the Soothing Gel Eye Mask. I'm pretty sure that's all that's in there, but hey, that's a good bit of stuff for a free box, right? It's got squishies in it. And this is normally $3 there, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, for external use only and you actually put the uh, the cloth side against your face and then this part is cool I'm guessing oh reusable gel mask can be used hot or cold to reduce eye puffiness for warm use place in a clean microwave for five second intervals until the desired warmth is reached but no more than 10 seconds for cold use place in a refrigerator until desired cooling temperature is achieved well, that's pretty cool. I would just want to sit there and play with it and do this. Yeah. Anyway, that was my freebie stuff. That's pretty cool from Pop Shelf. Like I said, I love this kind of box. And somebody will likely end up with this in the mail because I got a lot of giveaways coming up on my birthday. Mm-hmm. All right. Some of those things that may be in giveaways might include some of this and I'm going to try to grab them all I don't know if that's possible well here's at least an example of all of them see all this yarn see all this goodness it is all Bernat softy chunky and all of their yarn right now is 70% off yeah so this is like a buck fifty I mean it was a little higher price than it should have been anyway but a buck fifty for a skein of Burnett softy chunky which is 100 grams, 99 meters, and it is a super bulky six. And it is pretty soft. I mean, it's acrylic. It's not like, oh gosh, you know, baby alpaca soft, but it's pretty good. And um, yeah, I got apparently one black, which is called, well, let's see what it's called, just in case it's, it's called black, yay. Yay for being direct with your name. I got three of the gray, which is called True Gray. And I got two of the white, which are just called White. Props to Bernat or Bernay or whatever <laughs> for um, staying normal with those names instead of being like, you know, Snowcap Mountain White or whatever. Yeah. I got some other stuff. This, believe it or not, I mean, it looks like a hair accessory. Sure, it could be a hair accessory. However, 
these are fantastic if you have to ball up your yarn if you have you know yarn scraps you got to make yarn balls how do you keep those yarn balls from getting all discombobulated in the, the yarn ball box or yarn ball bag you put a clip on them oh my gosh best tip ever that i ever heard online i got a bunch of these they will be going out with giveaways when i do my giveaways on my birthday week and some of course are for me because i have a pile of them for my own yarn balls i also got several packs of these um hair elastics they don't have any metal on them use them for making hair scrunchies like what i'm wearing here this is a big floofy white one and also to make loveys for little stuffed animals so these are handy i also got a couple of planters these have the nice drain bit in the bottom where it'll drain out and you can pour it out from the bottom if you need to i need to do some transplanting uh, here's some more of the of these just in different colors i like to make my base kind of sort of match or coordinate with whatever i'm crocheting onto it um doo -doo -doo -doo. oh i thought this was cool it was also on the 70 percent off shelf kill them with craftiness forget kindness just kill them with craftiness this will be going into a giveaway as well just because I mean you guys are awesome and the giveaway should be fun oh oh I do have another yarny thing in here which we will get to and not sure if this is going to be part of a giveaway for like paper crafting or if I'm going to use it because it is awesome look at this paper book it is cardstock and all those patterns are in there okay it is decently thick cardstock it says that there are 16 beautiful designs uh 48 single-sided sheets and they're six by six which is uh, there are 15 by two and a half and 15 by two centimeters so yeah not quite six by six it's a smidge off of that because of the, the binding i believe and also these stickers that look awesome with that sentiment stickers kind of go with that and they have a whole bunch of card making stuff there too by the way if you ever get into a pop shop oh yeah there's the black <laughs> got a bunch of these um also there is going to be sort of a mickey mouse themed giveaway um because i have a cute little kit that needs to be given away and with that we'll probably go some mickey and minnie stickers because they're just super cute and why wouldn't i right all right oh and this in here i thought this was cool see y'all got me into this planting stuff thing and growing things thing and you got me more stuff to purchase bulbs not blubs bulbs bee garden this is for uh to help with pollinators a whole bunch of names that i can't pronounce of different flowers and stuff but they are bulbs in the box and i will have to see what to do with those because your girl i got a clue but that's what the internet is for right and the final yarny thing that i got i don't know it may go in a giveaway it may stay with me i don't know but they had one left so i got it and this is it <laughs> oh my gosh that isn't the cutest little cake ever the mandala craft cake and does it even have a color name on this one i don't know it's oh, under the sea is is the color name of this and i showed it to the hubby and he's like such tiny thread I said no no no. That, that's a three weight I said that's you know what I'm using to make my temperature blanket with it's just wound kind of tight on here um 100 acrylic of course and this is only 81 meters so it's not a ton of stuff it's a 35 gram cake but oh my gosh the cute the cute is off the scale and this I think came to a buck or something yeah should I give it away or should I keep it hmm there will be plenty of giveaways I have not sorted everything out as to how it's going to go and what exactly I'm going to do that week but I really should get started on that because 
there's gonna be a lot yeah some of it's in here I can see some of it on my table I've got some on a rolling cart that I just got I've got some in, in my room it's everywhere y'all it's everywhere and it's all coming up so thank you for joining me for my little mini haul today I don't do like huge hauls it's not like you know 35 or 40 minutes of yarn because I have enough yarn I really do I mean enough right those of you who love yarn know exactly what I mean you could never really have enough but you know you've got enough so I try not to go searching out yarn unless it's cute little oh my gosh things like this or super great deals like on this um, right now with the warmth out there I can tell you that I do not want to crochet with that right now <laughs> let me see if I can see the temperature outside um, it is just after noon Eastern time when I'm recording this and it is about 80 degrees already in Northeast Georgia and that's on the shady side of the house that is the north side of my house which does not get a lot of sunlight not direct sunlight so yeah it's kind of warm out there but what can you do what can you do so what have you purchased lately anything fun anything as cute as this little guy oh my gosh do you use little clippies for your yarn balls because seriously that is like the best tip ever right now if I can get it back into its little holder that a machine probably put put it there for yeah well this one may just have to sit there kind of extra but they're great on yarn balls I also use them in my hair I have some that I use for my hair but yeah and these just kind of have a sheen to them without actually being glittery Do you have a pop shelf near you yet? They're not all over the country yet, even in, in the US. I don't know where exactly they are. There aren't a lot of other stores, but they always have such beautiful displays. Seriously, when you walk in, they've always got a nice display up of whatever is neat and new. Like they have like the, the pool and beach side display up right now, which is adorable. Love it. Oh my goodness, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> so sorry but I hope you yawned right along with me anyway I'll see y'all very very soon bye now Miss Ingrid Ingrid gifted me some Torrid cash you know Ingrid from Ingrid's inspirations you know our very own head banging mermaid mm -hmm. Torrid cash I'll explain it if you want me to it has to do with a store called Torrid and it gives you a discount and um yeah, so I ordered something a little out of my comfort zone. Look, it's white belly. Crop something. I haven't worn anything cropped uh, since probably the late 80s. Yeah, because I'm a fat chick now and I don't usually wear crop, but I'm kind of loving this. A little outside of my comfort zone, but it has pockets. It's a little top and a little skirt. Yes, the skirt will definitely get use all the time. Even if I don't wear it as a complete outfit because yeah, the, the, the belly show is kind of freaking me out. But if I wanted to, I could always just tack it together and make it one unit. But thank you, Ingrid.